The Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program, commonly referred to as the SOP, is a Government of Canada program that was introduced by the Pearson government in 1966 between Canada and Jamaica. It has since expanded to include Mexico and numerous other Caribbean countries. The program allows for Canadian farm owners to hire temporary foreign workers, TFWs, from Mexico and participating Caribbean countries. Workers are brought in on temporary visas during the planting and harvesting seasons when employers are unable to adequately source local help to fulfill their labor demands. These employers can hire TFWs from participating countries for a maximum period of eight months between January 1st and December 15th, provided they are able to offer the workers a minimum of 240 hours of work within a period of six weeks or less. To qualify for the SOP, employers must meet three criteria. The TFWs hired must be citizens from Mexico or participating Caribbean countries. Production must be in specific commodity sectors. The activity must be related to on-farm primary agriculture. From its inception, Employment and Social Development Canada, in collaboration with Citizenship and Immigration Canada, have jointly administered and facilitated this program annually. It is readily accessible to prospective candidates who are at least 18 years of age. Applicants must be from one of the participating countries to qualify under the immigration laws and the sending country agreeing to the employment contract. The selected workers are eligible for the Canada Pension Plan and certain employment insurance benefits, excluding special benefits such as maternal, parental and compassionate care benefits. Workers are also subject to income tax laws. The issue of a lack of workers was first recognized in the mid-1960s when there were not enough workers to fulfill the needs of farmers who needed their crop planted at the beginning of the season and picked at harvest time. The government saw it necessary to develop a program to help bridge the gap between willing, available workers and farms in need of workers. By 1966, the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program was formed and adequately utilized by Ontario farm owners. It began as a partnership between Canada and the Caribbean country of Jamaica and since has grown to many other Caribbean countries and Mexico. Yes, farm work is hard work. The days are long and the physical work can be heavy and exhausting. However, over the past several decades, the family farm has been fast disappearing. Suffice to say that for many reasons, among them the loss of family farmers and the ever-increasing number of factory farms, Canadian agricultural production just wouldn't happen without farm workers. While the majority of those farm workers are domestic, there are ever-increasing numbers of foreign migrant workers. Many come to work on labor-intensive agricultural operations that produce fruit and vegetables in Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba and British Columbia. In fact, 33% of vegetable and fruit farm workers are foreign workers. Others come to work on cattle operations and in large slaughterhouses in southern Alberta or on large grain farms or ranches in Saskatchewan. Every year, there is an increasing shortage of farm labor. The SOP operates according to bilateral agreements between Canada and the participating countries. The agreements outline the role of these foreign governments, which is to recruit and select the TFWs, make sure workers have the necessary documents, maintain a pool of qualified workers, and appoint representatives to assist workers in Canada. These governments also ensure that the men and women selected to work temporarily in Canada meet all the requirements of the SOP. These requirements include being experienced in farming and being at least 18 years of age being a citizen of one of the participating countries and able to satisfy both the Canadian immigration laws and the laws of the workers' home country. 
Since 1976, the Toronto-based Eastern Caribbean Liaison Service, ECLS, in conjunction with OECS Labour Ministries, have been directly responsible for the coordination and execution of the temporary worker programs in Canada. The office is also charged with the responsibility for strengthening ties between Canada and the Eastern Caribbean countries in an effort to continually increase the number of workers in these programs, and particularly the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program. The ECLS to some extent also assists with the issues of unemployment in the region. At present, seven OECS states have been taking part in the temporary worker programs in Canada. This includes Antigua Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The ECLS has pledged its commitment to improving the quality of worker welfare and maintaining healthy employer relations during each period of employment in Canada. Since assuming the office of Minister Responsible for Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labour in St. Lucia in 2016, this year marked the third annual Canadian ministerial visit of the Honourable Stevenson King. In September 2018, Minister King, along with his permanent secretary in the Ministry of Labour, Dr. Cadelia Lane Ambrose, embarked on a three-week-long mission spanning across three Canadian provinces. This year's crusade was primarily aimed at closely reviewing, evaluating, restructuring, strengthening, and exploring all opportunities for significantly increasing the numbers and expanding the current seasonal agricultural workers program in Canada. St. Lucia is also seeking to penetrate the U.S. labor market by actively exploring the possibility of participating in similar programs throughout the United States. An ongoing strategic plan to totally revamp and restructure several critical aspects of the current model is of the highest priority. Ever since Minister King's first visit in 2016, we have seen some impressively increasing and encouraging numbers of quality seasonal farm workers coming out of St. Lucia. In 2017, for example, the number of St. Lucians participating in the SOP increased by over 20% and that number continues to rise steadily. The delegation's first stop was the beautiful capital city of Ottawa. There they met with high-level government representatives from Employment and Social Development Canada, where several important employment-related issues were discussed. Suffice to say, this meeting proved to be quite productive and informative. After leaving Ottawa, the team moved on to Frank Sant and Sons Greenhouses in Kleinberg, Ontario to visit with Felix St. Just, definitely an impressive farm worker who has been in the program for the past 13 years with an outstanding performance. Leamington, Ontario was the next stop where most of the St. Lucian farm workers are largely employed on various farms and in different capacities. The delegation visited several farms, both large and small, in Leamington, where St. Lucian farm workers are actively engaged. Time was spent meeting with the employers in an effort to get some candid feedback directly from them as it relates specifically to the overall performance of the St. Lucian farm workers currently employed. The Leamington leg of the mission concluded with a mini town hall meeting where Minister King met with the majority of St. Lucian farm workers based in Ontario to discuss and address a series of concerns expressed by the farm workers. One troubling concern is the newly implemented fingerprint requirement. It is hoped that a more cost effective and efficient solution will be given serious consideration and adopted by the Canadian government so as to facilitate the smooth preparation and processing of seasonal farm workers into Canada in a timely manner. The mission continued on to Calgary, Alberta for a brief business meeting at the Kananaskis Country Golf Course, which was once an employment home to 24 St. Lucian seasonal workers. As a result of a natural disaster, all employment ceased when the golf course was completely wiped out by a major mudslide. It has since bounced back even bigger and better. And based on discussions with the owner, the prospects of engaging some St. Lucian workers in the near future looks very promising. The final leg of the three-week mission took us to Abbotsford, British Columbia. From Abbotsford, the delegation embarked on an ambitious four-hour drive to an apple orchard in Vernon, B.C., where a few St. Lucian farm workers are currently employed. After a short stay on the apple orchard, the team safely made the four-hour journey back to Abbotsford to participate in a sizable exhibition organized by Can West Horticultural Association. 
This exhibition brought together a number of horticulturists, landscapers, farm machinery manufacturers, chemical suppliers, and other industry suppliers and facilitators under one roof. The minister considered this experience an eye-opener as it clearly provided an opportunity for him to personally, as Minister of Labor, interact with several horticultural and landscaping companies that could potentially become employers to some of our farm workers. The three-week ministerial mission was brought to a conclusion as the curtains came down at the Can West Exhibition in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Undoubtedly, the SOP has brought much relief and support to thousands of families across Mexico and the participating Caribbean territories. We have heard countless accounts of success stories from farm workers as they testify to the benefits they and their families have enjoyed from the program over the years. Success stories range from farm workers building their homes to their children attaining university level education and even those who have started their own farms in their homeland. In many instances, these farm workers play a very important role as main breadwinners and sole providers for their families, entirely from earnings through the SOP. It must be noted that back in 2005, there were roughly 18,000 migrant workers coming into Canada annually, working primarily in Ontario. In 2014, there were 60,000 positions that went unfilled, and it is estimated by 2025, the labor gap will be more than 114,000. Today, more than 50,000 farm workers travel to Canada annually to work, either through the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program, SOP, or the Temporary Agricultural Workers Program, TOP. The use of migrant laborers has long helped to reduce the costs of agricultural production here in Canada, but it comes at a very high cost to the migrant laborers and their families. Moving forward, St. Lucia pledges to continue playing a very active role in its ongoing effort aimed at consistently reviewing, enhancing, strengthening, and advancing all aspects of the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program as they strive to provide and maintain the best crop of seasonal workers throughout Canada for many years to come. This video presentation would not be complete without expressing our heartfelt thanks and appreciation to the many employers who year after year graciously afforded our young men these opportunities of employment within their establishments. On behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, we say a hearty thank you. To our St. Lucian farm workers, we would like to express our sincere thanks and gratitude to each of you for the dedication, hard work, and outstanding attitude you consistently exhibit while on duty in Canada. You have proven yourselves to be bona fide St. Lucian ambassadors in Canada. Thank you for making us proud by your extraordinary representation of your people and country abroad. We hope you have enjoyed this informative and insightful video, and we thank you for watching.